but it's such a fuck. It's just re rehab is just such fraud. It's just this cottage industry of nonsense, junk science. Fucking Dr. Drew Pinsky should be just. He's like, I, I've never done a bit about someone. For You do bits and you fake anger and you write a bit and you, you have passion for it. And then you do it too many times and then you have to work up the anger. And I've never had to do that with talking about Dr. Drew Pinsky for fucking years. I just hearing his name, I, his bile comes out of me because it's, it started out. If there's a war on drugs, he's the Joseph Goebbels propaganda minister of lies. And it started out with just the celebrity rehab. And that was, a, it was, it's a dumb show. But what made it important, it, Dr. Drew is a real doctor. That's what you have to keep in mind. He's an actual, he's not a fake Dr. Phil. He's an actual, went to medical school, has a diploma over his desk, real doctor spreading this nonsense. And it started with Celebrity Rehab, which was a guilty pleasure. It was fun to watch. They, you know, call in all these D-level celebrities. Let them shake off the DTs for a couple of days with cameras in their faces 24-7. And then they'd send them boating with Gary Busey. Because that's what a medical professional would tell you to do in that situation. And instead of of being stripped of his credentials for this. Instead of being drug out in the street and beaten and tied shirtless to a telephone pole out front of this place so garage bands could staple flyers to his chest to promote their upcoming gig. And then the other band would draw a dick picture <laughs> on the thing and, and they'd tear that off and put up a new poster. And eventually Drew Pinsky would die the slow bleeding death of a thousand weeping pinhole bleeds instead of that happening what happened is it gave him credibility people took him seriously and that's what makes you crazy it's not that these buffoons exist in life but the fact that what like the sarah palins or the glenn becks or whoever where you go ah, if everyone was laughing at him you go ah what a, but when they're taking drew pinsky now is the go-to guy for any kind of celebrity you know, any, any Heath Ledger issue, any fucking Michael Jackson, he's the guy that the mainstream media goes to. Joining us tonight to talk about one of the Corys that died. We don't know which Corey, no one really cares. <laughs> but to discuss the tragedy, joining us tonight, celebrity rehabilitation expert, Dr. Drew Pinsky. Welcome to the show. You know, first of all, how are you a celebrity rehabilitation expert? How do you get that designation at what point in medical school did your professor pull you to the side? Drew, mirror a second, I want to talk to you. Listen, I've been watching you work. I've been watching you poke around the cadavers and do what you do with a smug look on your face. Did anyone ever tell you that you have a keen eye for the rich and famous? You should really go in that direction. I think you have a natural gift to be an ambulance chaser to the stars. You fucking would step over a dozen dying winos in the street just to get to Lindsay Lohan's bedside to offer unsolicited advice to Charlie Sheen via Twitter as a medical professional is wont to do. Yeah, yeah, Dr. Drupinski. Celebrity rehabilitation expert. It's like if I were a gynecologist, but I found that I, I specialize in really young, hot, <laughs> shaved, stinkless pussy. That's where I found, I just had a knack. It was like a gift from God. Just teenage Norwegian pussy is all I really work with anymore because I want to give back. I want to give of myself. You puddle of shit. And what they don't show you when they're treating this, remember, this is a deadly disease. Ad addiction is here. I gotta, here it comes again. Watch. Oh, oh. This might look like a choice, but it's not. This is a deadly affliction. There's no such thing as addiction. I mean, on the most minor levels, there are, if you're a hardcore substance abuser, there are, is a physical addiction where you might need a medical detox for a few days to so you don't seizure up and swallow your tongue. After that, it's done. Then it's a choice. It's right back to a fucking choice. 
There's no such thing as addiction. There's only things that you enjoy doing more than life. And that's, it's not just drugs and alcohol, fucking sex addiction, eat too much pie. Yeah, if you, it's what you want to do. And what, but what they don't show you in any of these shows is, well, what do you, what do you do with these people? You have all these shows exploiting shitheads. You know, Intervention. Intervention's an hour-long show, and 52 minutes of it is some fucking stumble bum being followed around by a camera, shitting his pants and puking in trash cans and losing his job, because that's fun to watch. It really is. It's easily exploitable. That's why cigarettes are far more dangerous than anything that they show <laughs> fucking intervention, but you don't see that episode. There's not the... The cigarette, because no one wants to watch 52 minutes of a guy going. It's killing me. So they have to get the stumble bump, you know, shitting his pants and knocking over the turkey at his Aunt Nancy's house on Thanksgiving morning because he's trying to drink her mouthwash because it's fun to watch. But the, what they don't ever show you is the cure. If these shows are supposed to be informational and educational, what the fuck do you do? What's the cure? You show me 52 minutes of the guy fucking up and being hilarious, and then you fast forward through the intervention part, because no one wants to watch that. That's just boring idiot family members reading Hallmark cards they wrote themselves. And, and then you didn't show up to Sherry's graduation. And, uh, so what, do you, what, what happened? And the, the, the only cure they show, they show, oh, yeah. Then we flew him to Palos Altos, California, for a rehab, and he hasn't drank since 2007. Well, what'd you do there? That might be a good focal point of the show, is the cure for this deadly disease. What is the cure, Dr. Drew? Tell me what you're going to do with Charlie Sheen if you get him. How do you fucking cure these people? All you do is show me, you know, boating with Gary Busey. What's the cure? Well, we get him involved in a, in a, we put him in a rehab. Well, what do you do in the rehab? Well, it's a, it's a treatment. Well, what is the fucking treatment? Well, we get him involved in a program. Stop with the buzzwords and tell me what exactly is the cure? Oh, the cure uh, specifically is <coughs> uh, God. What? What? Yes, <coughs> God. That's what you do, that's all they do. All these rehabs, they, all they do is funnel you into a 12-step program, AA and the like, and any 12-step program is a God-based program. It's like seven of the 12 steps are about God and giving your life to God. You're a fucking medical doctor with a diploma over your desk. You treat one thing and one thing only, and the only cure you have for it is God. Even your religious friends do not want to hear about God during a medical diagnosis. It's the last word you ever want to hear from a doctor. God, doc, my fucking lymph nodes are swollen out of my neck. I look like a bullfrog. I, I'm shitting blood with clumps in it. I can't keep food down. Ooh, sounds like someone needs a higher power. Can't we do some blood work first? A series of antibiotics? Get a CAT scan? Nope. Get on your knees and pray, faggot. You're a doctor? Yep, I'm on TV too. <laughs>